Welcome to the COVID-19 Toolkit webinar where we will go over the COVID-19 classroom toolkits for licensed child care providers. The topics I'll discuss during this webinar include an overview of the project, the contents of the toolkit, and ways to use the materials in early learning settings. DCYF used CARES Act funding to purchase materials to help licensed child care providers implement COVID-19 guidance in their classrooms. DCYF child care licensing and professional development teams assembled over 9,000 classroom toolkits over the last few months. All licensed providers will receive one toolkit per preschool aged classroom and will also receive a board book for infant and toddler classrooms. Toolkit distribution is being coordinated by local child care wear offices across the state. They will be holding events over the next month or two where providers can drive through and pick up their kits. Child Care Wear will be contacting providers in their region when events are scheduled. The list of toolkit materials was developed with feedback from many partners across the state and beyond, including DCYF Child Care Licensing, Cultivate Learning, and Oregon State Department of Education. Now let's take a look at what's inside the kit. We organized the materials based on four different categories. The first category is promoting physical distancing. So the materials related to helping providers implement physical distancing in their classrooms are cloth tape measure measures, which can be used to help kids understand what six feet apart looks like. Yarn, this can be used again to help children understand proper physical distancing guidelines. Circle spot markers, these can be used to place on the ground to create space when children are sitting or standing. Tape, this can be used to mark off individual spaces or again, help children understand distance. And placemats, which can also be used to signify personal space while sitting at a table. The second category is promoting hand washing. The item we included in the toolkit to help providers promote hand washing is child safe glitter. The idea behind this item is to be able to use it in an activity where the glitter can simulate germs and children can wash it off to see how hand washing can keep us healthy. The glitter is plastic and is safe for preschool aged children and up. The third category is supporting emotional health. In this category, each toolkit will have one children's book about COVID-19 and one children's book or set of activity cards about mindfulness practices that can help children express and manage their emotions. The books will come in either Spanish or English, depending on the provider's preferred language and law compass. The fourth category of materials is promoting outdoor activities. Here we have a set of sidewalk chalk and a set of cones. These can be used in many different ways to encourage kids and providers to get outside and enjoy some outside time. In addition to the items that will be in each toolkit bag, all licensed providers will also get a few written materials to further assist with implementing COVID-19 guidance in the classroom. All written materials will come in either Spanish, Somali, or English, depending on the provider's preferred language and more compass. Providers will receive the Caring for Your Family COVID-19 Guide. This guide provides resources to help families and caregivers cope with stress that might show up during the pandemic. It includes information on what to expect when children are experiencing a stressful situation and other resources that will be helpful for both providers and the families they care for. Another resource that providers will receive is the toolkit introduction letter. This letter shares information on the project and includes the list of materials that are included in each kit, along with some ideas on how to use each item. The last bit of written materials that each provider will receive is a set of two-minute tip sheets that include additional resources to help with COVID-19 guidance. These 12 tip sheets, which are available in English, Spanish, and Somali, were designed in partnership with Cultivate Learning and the Oregon State Department of Education. Each tip sheet covers a different topic, things like daily activities, personal protective equipment for children and adults, cleaning and building maintenance, and much more. Providers will receive, will receive a 
hard copy in their preferred language along with their kit materials. These tip sheets will be maintained and regularly updated as guidance changes in our state. And the most up-to-date versions can be found online at this website right here. There are many different ways providers can use the materials that are in their COVID-19 toolkits. Some ways to use the items that support physical distancing include measuring distances together with kids and experimenting with different distance systems. You, and using place us to define individual workspaces. An additional way to promote hand washing in early learning settings could be to include a fun song to help kids reach the proper time limit. When we're thinking about how to support social and emotional health of the children in our care, we can use puppets to teach breathing exercises. There's so many different ways to implement COVID-19 guidance in classrooms. We encourage all providers to get creative and we look forward to hearing how they all might use the materials in their toolkit. Thank you for tuning in to this webinar about the COVID-19 classroom toolkits for licensed early learning providers. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me, Mallory Lopez, at mallory.lopez at dcif.wa.gov. Thank you.